I want to play this game first because uh, that is coming out soon. And then, yeah, uh, Diablo is downloading. I'll download it and I'll play Diablo. But that will be far away yeah. That will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's still downloading. Oh. I always like these uh, games that are boring. So, money. Hmm. Squad Enix. Do not entertain me. Thank you. Uh, okay, video settings, video, is everything on wax? This is my favorite. Yeah. It's New game. Who's wisely?
bigger than I am. What's that? Okay. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, Those I'm in class. Everything's up. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment oh. of desperation. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. 
Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. And how do I have the picture? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Is a window opens, or something like that. A fly. Huh? Okay, uh -huh. girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
They don't have mobile phones. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Oh, with all. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot who believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane can I actually Arvis. reverse time? You go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally hot. Can you give I me actually did it. A photographer who perfectly Whoa. captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't, don't freak Arbus. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does exactly again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame anyone. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? One of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's photo real. portrait has been popular I can since tell. the early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Just for selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. A French painter. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. Oh, 
Paramount Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure Ooh. and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Nice answer, Max. You're submitting your phone Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, so did we talk at all today? This is the first time. So What's wrong? I'm, sure I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I, I know the feeling. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. I have to go. No Too much happening right now. This is sure. a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's so happening sick. again. The people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than trying. I need a hammer to break it open. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy oh. shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can re Oh, fuck. First time again, I can help. <clears throat> Uh... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! 
I need a hammer to break it open. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I have uh. to rewind now. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> Oh, I got see talk. Oops. If someone talks, make sure if someone talks. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Um... um. stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, 
Talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. out. Are you? People. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Gone. Ah, right. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Retro Selfie Master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. 
It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed, and he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Ow. Oh. I got you. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive.
Bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. No. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Sweet. None shall pass. Capiche? Nice, bro. Rewind and find something. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Oh. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. He Do you understand English? Get lost. Keep walking, hippie.
This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What do I need to do now? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Nice, bro. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. <laughs> he saw it. Okay, let's see if this works. but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Sweet. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. See if this works. Uh -huh. Oh, this didn't move. No way, no fucking no. way, oh. Victoria. Oh, Sammy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Nice. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. Oh, you have a great eye. Dude. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourself. -y. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Okay. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Sweet. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Ugh. 
How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Max, get a clue. Nice, Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> awesome! No way in hell am I ever going in here. We took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Mm. Lauren makes me laugh. I'm her boy. It's okay. nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Take a step back. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Hey. Copy. Thank you, I think with that play. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to... Hard to believe I'm 18 now. 
I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Where is their flash drive? Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Ooh. You another. Where is that uh... Yeah. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Who's Dana? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Dad, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? You are ridiculous. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. If you don't let me out, I will scream. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do any- Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. You are ridiculous. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. You Just out. zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room.
Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oh, she's, she's pregnant or not? Oh. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could have wanted to get up to her. Let's speak to him. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self respect. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Do I need to go? Do I need to do something? No. Oh. Wait, I have to go.
This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. <laughs> Ouch. Poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. What the fuck? This shit. Ow. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. what I call instant karma. <laughs> I'm gonna make a achievement. Achievement. Uh, what do we need to do? Fuck it. Yes. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Oh, yeah, let's speak of I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh, what happens here? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. Okay. I could rewind and try something different. <laughs> so don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Yeah, I'll take you off this. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. 
Come on over here. Please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur that does sound better than thief ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust seen it i was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Leave in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. 
It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. What happened with Hello? Did he die? In the Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So tell me. What does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Party all night. Not Little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I 
I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14, we were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah. Oh. It won't play without any power. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. My step-ass keeps tools down in the garage. I bet you can find something to fix your camera.
seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. And the ones you left behind. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Goodbye, the roses on yours. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Smart, dumbass. No can reach. I'm sorry. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant. I should have done that before they fell. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm still the cops. Upstairs before Chloe freaks. Must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh shit! Huh? Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Oh. Oh. 
This action will have consequences. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Let's beat now, Lucy. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Let's be nosy. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. <laughs> You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Okay. Let's fix the camera. Yeah. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely, Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. It was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this day couldn't get 
hit any stranger. Fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes! Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. <laughs> Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You <laughs> trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while. What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. Just don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women.
Still, still alive. There will be a storm here. kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? You're a dream. Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. People can be such pigs. Yes, some people can be big. Yeah. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Okay, okay. Just so lucky, they can always escape. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. How long has that been here? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Mm. <sighs> sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? What files? David stashes his secret X files in there. I saw them once, but he secures them now. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. 
Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. get around this. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh my lord! The tornado is back!
Holy shit. Come out. earlier in class when i came out of it i discovered i could reverse time like i said not crazy but hi right listen to me how do you think i saved you in the bathroom by reversing time yeah sure i saw you get shot chloe saw you actually die i was able to go back and hit the fire alarm okay i see you're a geek now with a great imagination but this isn't anime or a video game people don't have those powers max i don't know what i have but i have it and i'm scared shitless you need to get hot it's been a hell insane fucking day <sighs> what the hell is this snowflakes it's like 80 degrees how climate change or a storm is coming Start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
Yeah, this card will be tomorrow, I guess. But I'm getting tired too. Yeah. Oh, one more episode. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, this Oh. Oh. I don't know what it is. Oh, well, that was long ago. Three years. I don't have any bottle. I know. Okay. I know. I thought it would be good to to continue tomorrow. I really like those choices make games. That's so fun. Um, tomorrow I have a half, I guess. Yeah. Oh yes, I didn't scream like steam labels. No, this is this guy. No, it's butterfly. Fuck. I said, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, so tomorrow, uh, Around an inch. I can with like a strange. Hope to see it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.